is called Ask Baba. <laughs> We've had uh, a lot of people come to, the, uh, to our site that know nothing about our tradition. I mean, they literally know nothing about it, and they ask all kinds of, of questions that are really uh, basic and that uh, you know, we don't want to really spend our time answering them. Uh, we don't want to discourage people who come and ask questions. On the contrary, we actually want to encourage them. So the problem is, I have been using all my time answering these questions from people and actually neglecting my own work, which is to improve things. Okay, but I consider my role not to fix things, not to answer questions, but to make things better. Uh, it's up to me to design where we're going in the future and to implement all those plans. That's really my job. I'm a visionary, okay? <laughs> I've got the, you know, the hat with the propeller on it, you know, the big goggles, and I'm looking into the future, okay? So I have to come up with a way to make our website uh, more responsive to people's questions without entangling our time and energy in answering all these different questions. Because we can see if, if the site grows the same way that it grew last year, by this time next year we're going to have like a thousand visitors a day. And at that rate, I mean, it would take three people like me spending full time just to answer all the questions. And, you know, that's not going to happen. So <laughs> we have come up with a plan that we call Ask Baba. Basically, what we're going to do is take all of Srila Prabhupada's books and all of the forum posts and, and questions and answers that we have so far. Plus, I have a large collection of unpublished uh, Vedic literatures, Sanskrit scriptures and so on. We're going to put all that online and make it into a searchable archive. And then we're going to put an interface on it that allows people to ask questions and get answers based on, well, not only what people have asked and answered before, but also the complete Vedic literatures. So it's going to be similar to a, a customer support site or something like that, where you can go and look at a list. You can enter your question, and then you can see a list of similar questions and answers. And if that doesn't answer your question, then you can submit a query and search the Vedic literatures, the complete Vedic literatures, and also all the questions and answers we've had so far. Uh, that will allow people to ask any kind of questions they want, as many as they can imagine, as often as they like, and get good answers based on the actual esoteric teaching. Uh, and at the same time, it frees us from having to deal with so many questions and answers uh, because we have a whole bunch of other things to do, <laughs> which I'm going to share with you in just a minute. Let me review our platform and our policies uh, because in this year of preaching and dealing with many different people, uh, we have had to make very clear the distinction between what we're doing and what other groups are doing. So first of all, according to the esoteric teaching, the whole model of religion is counterproductive. It may be okay for people who are really uh, only interested in material life and uh, have no uh, desire to get out of the material world, but as soon as you do, then the model has to change. Uh, unfortunately, the people who inherited the uh, organizations started by my spiritual master and other similar spiritual teachers from India have tried to put this teaching into the religious model. Uh, and religious organizations have certain problems which are historically, uh, you know, very clear. And we don't want those problems. So we're not trying to start a religion. We're never going to start a religion. We're never going to start a church or something like that. Uh, even if you call it a temple, it's still a church, really. And we're not going to try to, like most religious groups, 
are trying for world domination and therefore they get into competition with other groups and then they have to uh, start preaching against them and they get into big wars and it's just horrible. So we're not going to go there. We're not going to do that. We have a different model. Our model is called the Upanishadic model because it comes from the Upanishads. Upa means near and Anishada means sit down. <laughs> so come here, sit down and listen. That is the uh, model of the esoteric teaching. Don't do anything distracting right now, please. No, no. So the, the Upanishadic model means that the student has a personal relationship with a self-realized soul. And even though uh, in the old days it meant that you go to where the guru is and you sit down with them and you, know, you live with them day and night and uh, by association you pick up on their spiritual qualities and the spiritual process and in that way you approach self-realization. The Upanishads are basically a collection of questions and answers with a self-realized soul. So one should have the ability to ask good questions and get good answers. Uh, not from dogma, but from realization. So like that, uh, we are going to use technology to extend the presence of the self-realized soul, of the guru, of the esoteric teaching, so that everyone can have access. And at the same time, we, personally, physically, are going to create a situation where those who are qualified can have literally face-to-face uh, -face interaction. Uh, in other words, we are going to establish a retreat in a rural location where we can live the lifestyle of the Vedic esoteric teaching 24 hours a day. And that's why we want to change the website so that it doesn't require so much of our personal uh, effort and work to maintain. We had planned to do this sometime next year and now those plans have become much more uh, refined. We're talking about doing it by the middle of next year. So by the middle of next year I will no longer be here in the Mexico City I will be out in the country somewhere in a very uh, isolated rural location. We'll still have internet. So we'll still have these gatherings once a week or maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. We'll still have the ability to do online spiritual counseling and like that. But uh, we will not be living in a, a city location. We'll be living way out in the country someplace. The reason why is that it's very, very difficult to live a pure lifestyle in the city. Another reason is that uh, we don't really want to create like a church or an organization or have big meetings all the time and so we can do all that online. Uh, the internet has become a very powerful tool for communication that's available everywhere in the world now. Uh, just a few years ago it wasn't possible, but now it is. The technology is moving very fast and it's becoming cheaper, better, faster, and more convenient to have online meetings like this one instead of face-to-face -face meetings. But when someone is qualified and they have a sincere desire, they can always come and stay with us uh, at our retreat center and they can actually learn how to do this process of spiritual life in our personal association. Mm -hmm. There will be uh, a way that everyone can apply who wants to come here and then uh, we can work things out from there. But that's our main goal. For 2008, our goals are we want to complete the Jyotish course that we currently started. We want to make it the best Jyotish course on the web. Uh, it'll have hours and hours of video. It'll have all kinds of uh, computer programs that you can play with. It'll be very complete. We also want to complete the Sri Vishnu Sahasranam podcast, make a uh, online commentary 
on every single verse. There are 108 verses of the Vishnu Sahasranam itself. We've now completed the prologue. So uh, our current posts are just wrapping up the prologue and the future posts will actually start on the thousand names of Vishnu themselves. But we can complete that this year if we can do two or three posts a week. We also want to continue these weekly podcasts and this will be the main vehicle for uh, community interactions and also for asking really thoughtful questions about our teachings. Uh, te the kind of questions that require a personal discussion. The kind of questions that require a self-realized soul to answer. We also want to complete the Jyoti program.